안녕하세요 여러분 헬레나입니다 Hi, this is Elena from Alpha Korean class You can understand simple Korean sentences when watching K-drama but it's difficult to make sentences So when you think about the reason It may be because you are lacking knowledge of both words and grammar But isn't the most frustrating thing that you actually can't even speak the words you do know If this feels like your story, then go, you've come to the right. You will get to know the cause and the solution. And you will get to receive the present that are prepared for you. Are you curious? Then let's watch this video until the end. Okay, first I have to say that you might have a big illusion about your skills. Huh? It's simple. If you can even say a simple sentence out loud, you are a total beginner. Let's find out. I'll show you a sentence that's the simplest way to check your level. How do you say enjoy your dinner in Korean? Three, two, one. Huh? What did you say? Let me show you. 식사 맛있게 하세요. 저녁 맛있게 드세요. What do you think? Are you a beginner? Hmm? Now, let me tell you one more surprising fact. If you heard this expression in the K-drama, you will understand what it means without realizing it. How is that possible? That's how it is. This is because you are used to listening rather than talking, okay? You've already heard enough Korean through K-dramas and K-pop. So you are good at listening. But what about speaking, all right? Have you ever said 식사 맛있게 하세요? Have you ever practiced this sentence? Here's the answer. Why can't you say the expression you know? You know the expression only when you see them and you hear them. But you don't know how to say the expression. One more time. You know the expression only when you see it and hear it. But you don't know how to say that expression through your mouth. Now you got it? So the solution is very simple. You need to practice speaking to be able to speak well. Today, I'm going to teach you how to practice speaking for beginners. Please keep watching only those who are serious interested in improving their speaking skills and are fully prepared to accept this challenge. Because even if I told you how to do it, there wouldn't be many people who would apply it anyway. Are you ready? Then let's get started. Okay, so if you've been watching this so far, you have a good enough attitude to improve your speaking skill. Then I'll expect that you will take this seriously. So as a beginner, you have to repeat a letter tedious process for at least a year to improve your speaking skills. That is reading aloud. So you need to read basic conversation books or your favorite basic textbook aloud. The textbook must contain native voice recordings. How? Like this. First, reading words aloud. And second, reading sentence aloud. Third, memorizing sentences. And fourth, recording sentences. And last, shadowing. All right, first, reading words aloud does not mean that you can just read it at will in the accent and tones of your native language. You should listen to native pronunciation carefully and practice until your pronunciation becomes as similar to the native as possible. Practice pronouncing the words clearly dozens of times until it's pronounced comfortably enough in your mouth and follows the native accent. This process is very, very important. You already know if there are any words that even in your native language, you are not used to making sound with your mouth, then you rarely use those words in daily conversation, right? 
So for example, have you ever just tried to be polite with the expression how are you? 잘 지내셨어요? You should get used to pronouncing a honorific ending. 지내셨어요? To practice this word, read it slowly and clearly one by one at first. 지내셨어요? Then you find that each letter is not pronounced as it is written. Then write down the phonetic symbol and write them down like this. 지내셨어요? Then practice the pronunciation while looking at the letter in the phonetic symbol. 잘 지내셨어요? 잘 지내셨어요? 잘 지내셨어요? So I recommend that you write down your pronunciation in Korean, not romanization. So you may think that's it's comfortable now, but when you want to speak Korean well someday, you may have to recorrect all your pronunciations. So reading Korean may be difficult at first because you are not used to it, but it is not difficult if you get it used. This is the easiest way, you know? It's better to be bitten first. Next, reading sentences aloud. You should practice many times so as to read the sentences fast enough. Let's take this sentence as an example. 그동안 어떻게 지내셨어요? The most important thing is that you should read this sentence naturally until you can read it partly while thinking of the meaning. When you listen to a native voice over and over again, you will get a chunk of meaning. 그동안 어떻게 지내셨어요? Not like this. 그동안 어떻게 지내셨어요? That's what I'm reading. 그동안 is a one chunk. 어떻게 지내셨어요? This is the second sense group. Now, if you can't divide it into chunk like this, no matter how good your pronunciation is, it will sound very awkward. So when you practice speaking sentences, you have to think about the meaning of the sentence and repeat it until you can read it by sense group. Until it works out, until you feel comfortable. I think that's good enough, but if you want to be fluent in Korean, there's more to note. That's to imitate the intonation, tone, rhythm, emotions of the person. So it's good to think of it as practicing rap. This one. Uh, this is one of the lyrics of Idol's Tomboy. So when I practice this rap, I have to listen it a lot and follow the beat and intonation as well. So look, if I just read this lyric without thinking about the meaning, it looks like this. I don't want to play this ping pong. But if you think this means that your boyfriend is sick of it, it changes. I don't want to play this ping pong. Right? This is not the end. You have to practice until you copy this singer. How? Like this. I don't want to play this ping pong. All right, for me, I don't want to play this ping pong. So if you are a native speaker of English, you can copy this rap easier than I do. But even so, you have to practice to do the same thing, right? So you have to copy Korean sentences like this. Imitate the intonation, tone, rhythm, and emotions of this person on the recording. So you are going to repeat it dozens of times until you are completely used to it. You know, right? The next step is memorizing sentences. You need a notebook at this stage. So if you have a half folded note like this, write down the English meaning on the left and the Korean expression on the right. And then cover the right side like this. Okay? Now let's say these sentences in Korean while looking at only the English. Not writing but saying it with your mouth. How are you? 
잘 지냈어요? 오케이. Okay. How are you? 오늘 빅. 잘 지내셨어요? Alright. How have you been? 그동안 어떻게 지냈어요? Alright. How have you been? 오늘 빅. 그동안 어떻게 지내셨어요? Okay. I'm pretty good. 잘 지냈어요. And then I've been doing well. 잘 지내고 있어요. If you would practice the sentence enough, you'll probably remember what it is. So I recommend memorizing only three sentences a day. If it's five days, it's 15 sentences, right? So rest on weekend and just memorize 15 sentences for five weekdays. It can be difficult at first, but soon there will be a time when the pattern of Korean sentences will naturally feel familiar. At the time, your speed of remembering becomes much faster. Okay, I'm sure most of you have not watched this video until now. But if you are watching the video so far, you are much more likely to succeed than most people who are more likely to fail. So, let's find out next step. So, if you memorize the sentence like this, here's the next step. It's recording while reading the sentences. So if there is a mistake while recording, remove it and record it again. Record until there is no mistake or awkwardness. 잘 지냈어요? 잘 지내셨어? So record again because I made a mistake. 잘 지냈어요? 잘 지내셨어요? 그동안 어떻게 지냈어요? 그동안 어떻게 지내셨... Oh, one more time. So like this, if you made a mistake, you have to record again. Okay? 잘 지냈어요? 잘 지내셨어요? 그동안 어떻게 지냈어요? 그동안 어떻게 지내셨어요? 저는 잘 지냈어요. 저는 잘 지내고 있어요. Okay, next is the final step. So once you've collected these 15 sentences, start shadowing. Shadowing is not reading while looking at the text, but listening to the sound and imitating it with your mouth. It's hard to copy the native speaker's voice at this time, but it's not hard to copy what you record with your voice. So when you are in a moving car or walking on the street, try to imitate your voice with your mouth while listening to your recordings. So imagine yourself speaking Korean fluently one day and do it with a smile. <laughs> All right, that is for speaking practice for beginners in Korean. Let me review again. First, reading words aloud. Next, reading sentences aloud. Next, memorizing sentences and recording sentences. Last, shadowing. So if you decided to follow this step and practice speaking Korean really hard, there's only one problem left. You need a proper conversation textbook for practice. But I'm sure some of you don't have it. For those of you, I let you know how to use the PDF file I made. Originally, it was more appropriate textbook for practicing writing in Korean. However, using only easy sentences can also help you practice speaking. So this file is a paid product that sells for $8.99, but you can get it for free because when you register to the Alpha Korean class website, you will get $10. And when you enter that point in the payment window, you can download the PDF and MP3 file at the same time. And this PDF file contains a total 20 example sentences like this every day uh, for one verb every day. 
So to practice speaking, you have to choose only three of these sentences. And I recommend you choose present, okay, and past and future uh, tense sentences here. Okay, the first one, 빨리 가요, go quickly, present tense. And uh, she went to the bank, uh, this is a past tense. And I choose one more easy sentence like future tense. 이번 주말에 등산을 갈 거예요. I'm going hiking. All right. Then write them down in your notebook like this. Like before, on the left, you can write down your English sentence. And on the right, uh, write down the Korean sentences. And you know the next step, right? You listen to the recording and practice the pronunciation of the each word 빨리 가요 like that 이번 주말에 등산을 갈 거예요 if you find something uh, different with the letter then you can write down like this 이번 주말에 and 등산을 등산을 갈 거예요. It sounds like 거. 거예요. Okay. And also the sentences. 빨리 가요. 빨리 가요. All right. And practice these sentences uh, enough and record them with your voice. And you even do shadowing, right? Done. So if you've made up your mind, don't hesitate. From now on, the ball is in your court. Okay, that's it. I hope this video was helpful. Please press the like button and share it with others. So if you have any more questions about speaking Korean, then please leave them in the comments below. And if you like this video, I will give you more Korean speaking tips. Then I'll come back with more informative videos next time. 그럼 여러분 다음 시간에 또 만나요. 안녕!